Hello there. Hey guys, Bullshit here. We're here for Five Nights at Freddy's 2. That's Chica. This Bonnie. We're gonna try to do all of the nights this time around. Error. And for once, we are actually seeing a full screen. So anyways, so basically, I think I failed. Hold on. I can actually look this up right now. So I think I barely touched night five. Um, so we'll try to beat night five, get to night six, try to beat that, and beat a few of the challenges. I am not pushing myself. Once I, I fail maybe four attempts on a night, past, like past night four, I'll, I'll make sure I finish night four. <laughs> but if I keep failing on night five, I'll be done with this. But anyways, let's go. I've yet to actually find out a good grand reopening. Help wanted. Vintage pizzeria given new life. Come and be part of the new phase of Fazbear's Fred Bear Bear. And would it go wrong? 150 cents um, to apply 1555 as fuck. 12 on the first night. <laughs> Golden Freddy. Oh, control. Uh, hello. Hello, hello. Uh, hello and welcome to your new summer job at the new and improved Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, I'm here to talk you through some of the things you can expect to see during your first week here and to help you get started down this new and exciting career path. Uh, now, I want you to forget anything you may have heard about the old location, you know. Uh, some people still have a somewhat negative impression of the company. Uh... That old restaurant was kind of left to rot for quite a while, but you can kind of I see want some to blood or something. Fazbear Entertainment is committed to family fun and above all, safety. They've spent a small fortune on these new animatronics. Uh, facial recognition, advanced mobility, they even let them walk around during the day. <laughs> Isn't that neat? <clears throat> but most importantly, they're all tied into some kind of criminal database so they can detect a predator a mile away. Hey, we should be paying them to guard you. Uh, now, that being said, no new system is without its kinks. Uh, you're only the second guard to work at that location. Uh, the first guy finished his week, but complained about conditions. Uh, we switched him over to the day shift. So, hey, lucky you, right? Uh, mainly, he expressed concern that certain characters seemed to move around at night and even attempted to get into his office. Now, from what we know, that should be impossible. Uh, that restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. So while our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that the robots were never given a proper night mode. So when it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong room. So then they go try to find where the people are, and in this case, that's your office. So our temporary solution is this. There's a music box over by the prize counter, and it's rigged to be wound up remotely. So just every once in a while, Switch over to the prize counter video feed and wind it up for a few seconds. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does affect one of them. <clears throat> uh, and as for the rest of them, we have an even easier solution. You see, there may be a minor glitch in the system, something about the robot thing you as an endoskeleton without his costume on and wanting to stuff you into the suit. So hey, we've given you an empty Freddy Fazbear head. Problem solved. You can put it on any time and leave it on for as long as you want. Eventually, anything that wandered in will wander back out. Uh, something else worth mentioning is kind of the quartz modern design of the building. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. <laughs> uh, but hey, you have a light, and even though your flashlight can run out of power, the building cannot. So don't worry about the place going dark. Well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. Uh, check the lights, put on the Freddy head if you need to, uh, keep the music box wound up, piece of cake. 
Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Oh, there's Chica. Okay. <clears throat> Shouldn't be able to walk around, 
But if they do, the whole Freddy head trick should work on them too. So, whatever. Uh, I love those old characters. Uh, did you ever see Foxy the Pirate? Oh wait, Foxy. Oh yeah, Foxy. Uh, hey listen, uh, that one was always a bit twitchy. Uh, I'm not sure if the Freddy head trick will work on Foxy. Uh, if for some reason he activates during the night, and you see him standing at the far end of the hall, uh, just flash your light at him from time to time. Those older models would always get disoriented with bright light. It would cause a system restart or something. Uh, come to think of it, you might want to try that on any room where something undesirable might be. It might hold him in place for a few seconds. Uh, that glitch might have carried over to the newer models, too. Uh, one more thing. Don't forget the music box. I'll be honest, I never liked that puppet thing. It's always thinking that I can go anywhere. Uh, I don't think the frame mask will fool it, so just don't forget the music box. Um, anyway, I'm sure it won't be a problem. Uh, have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.
damn it. Instincts. And I was right freaking there too. <clears throat> we can do that one more time. People that can spawn here are BB and Toy Freddy. I already got them. Um, only Mangle can be here. I already got her. I got Mangle here. Um, got them. I think Toy Chica and Mangle are the only toy characters that can be here. Uh, Withered characters aren't supposed to be moving yet. But when Foxy leaves, Chica should be knocked over though. Bonnie's gone. Ha <laughs> 
Oh, hey, Bonnie, how you doing there? Hi, Chica. We'll listen to the phone call, and that's it for this episode.
Oh, Bonnie's out. Cool. Up oh, there's Bonnie. But he has those two of them. Which one? There he is. There's Chica. Oh, there's Freddy. They're all attacking. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hi, Mr. Golden Freddy, how are you doing? Right there's a good thumbnail. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.